How MC Light's tech-infused music journey inspired a passion for black girls in tech. Hip-hop legend MC Light wants to teach black girls how to code. MC Light, known for hits like Roughneck and Paper Thin, has a profound admiration for the technological sector, which has played a significant part in the creation of her music. She emphasizes its significance in the creation of her debut album, Light as a Rock. While every bit of recording for my musical projects were done with the aid of technology, MC Light said in an interview with AFROTECH, I used a Tascam drum machine for the majority of my first album. We certainly experimented with new technologies, such as drum machines, programmers, and sequencers. We investigated echo chambers, modules, and gates. It's it's always fascinating to go to the studio and see what's new to experiment with. She's reuniting with Black Girls Code as a celebrity judge, alongside music producer Craig King, Grammy Award-winning artist and producer Bosco Kant, and Rock the Bells president James Cuthbert, among others, in their newest nationwide initiative Build a Beat Challenge with Kira. Contestants will be challenged to code their own songs utilizing Infosys Foundation uses Pathfinders Online Institute, and if they are declared a winner, they will be able to video call Grammy Award-winning artist Kira, as previously reported by AFROTECH. This generation's children are brimming with new ideas. This assignment will spark the imagination of those who enjoy coding and are inspired to create music, MC Light said. I am a huge MC Light fan, Black Girls Code CEO Christina Jones told AFROTECH. Again, when you look at all of the judges, you'll notice that we're really intentional about who we choose, such as James Cuthbert, president of Rock the Bells, who is 100% laser-focused on ensuring that our communities have access to opportunity. Jones, who joined Black Girls Code in October 2023, is committed to continuing the nonprofit organization's heritage. Here at Black Girls Code, we want to meet the girls where they are, she said. When you consider the numbers, we only 3% of black women work in technology. It's evident that they don't picture themselves in this situation. They do not have adequate representation in this space. So we wanted to meet them where they are and teach them that technology is fun and can be a catalyst in helping them work in areas that they enjoy, such as gaming, cinema, sports, and, of course, music.